This sentence discusses all the vices, smoking, drinking, eating high-fat foods, and how, of course, these are bad for you. It features one of the GMAT's favorite idioms, not only, but also. This is a way of emphasizing that two things are true, two things that you wouldn't both expect to be true. It's a very powerful idiom, and the GMAT often tests it. So in answer choice A, we have the complete idiom, not only, but also. In B, we have the but also, but not the not only. C, we have but also, but not, not only. D, we have not only, and we have also, but not but also. And then E, we don't have it at all. We just have and and the also. So the only one that uses the correct idiom is A. So right away, we kind of expect A is the correct answer. But let's take a look at the verbs also. Ideally, we'd want the verbs to be as active as possible. And so in A, what we have is two active verbs, do damage and aggravate. And incidentally, it's worthwhile talking about this verb aggravate. In common speech, the word aggravate is tend to, tends to be used as a synonym for to annoy. So, so and so, she is aggravating me. Technically, that is incorrect. Technically, aggravate means to make worse, to make more grave. Grave or gravity is actually the etymological root of the word. And so these bad foods and these bad habits aggravate the genetic factors, the genetic predispositions. In other words, it makes them worse. So A is, is perfectly correct. B, we have active do damage, and then passive are aggravating too. C, we have passive and passive, so both of those are out. E, we have do damage and passive are aggravating, so that's out. E, we have a particularly strange construction, are doing damage and are also aggravating. Both of them are in the present progressive. The present progressive is a tense you would use to emphasize that the action is occurring as you speak. So if we wanted to emphasize that as we speak, someone is out there smoking, drinking, and having an ice cream sundae, then we'd use the present progressive. But that's not what this sentence is about. This sentence is just about medical facts that are in general true. It's not necessarily about an action that's happening at this particular moment. So the present progressive here really doesn't make sense. So for a variety of reasons, A is the best answer. It has the correct idiom, it has two active verbs, and it is sleek, direct, a perfect answer. Answer choice A.